Good day and welcome to our video about how to use Mindly. We hope you enjoy. Step 1. The learners will open the Mindly app on their smartphones or tablets. Step 2. Once the app is opened, the learners will then click on the plus button in the top left corner of their screen to create a new mind map. Step 3. The learners will be prompted to give their mind map a name. This is referred to as the central theme. It should include their name, surname and HIV AIDS. Step 4. The learners have free reign to now change the color of their mind map bubbles to their liking by clicking on the color button in the middle of the screen. Step number 5. After this, learners can click on the icon button next to the color button at the top of the screen to add an icon that suits their mind map. This should be an icon that helps them remember the content of HIV and AIDS. The following step the learners should now click on the check mark next to the icon button to save their central theme bubble. This will also return them to their mind map. After the mind map title has been created, there will be four plus icons around the main title. Be displayed on the LCD projector where learners can add to their mind map. The prompts will serve as the associations from central theme. These associations will be added when the learners click on the plus button. When the learners tap a plus button that appears in the circle around the central theme, there will be the following prompts displayed in the projector for them to add each title. The prompts include the five questions. Step 9. After the learners have created all the association titles for the mind map, they can click on the color button which is next to the title button at the top of the screen to add a color for all the association bubbles. Each of the associations can be different colors or they can all be the same. Step 10. After the learners have changed the colors, they can now add an icon for each of the associations. This is done by clicking on the icon button next to the color button at the top of their screens. As before, it should be something that they associate with these prompts. The learners should now click on the check mark next to the icon button to save their associations and return to their mind map. Step 12. After that, the learner will click on the plus buttons which appears in a circle around their new associations of the new association tiles to create their keywords for each association. For example, this would include how is HIV and AIDS transmitted? What is the cause of HIV and AIDS? Name all the symptoms of HIV and AIDS. What precautions can you take to prevent HIV and AIDS? And what treatments is there for HIV and AIDS? After the learners have created all the keyword bubbles for each of the associations, they can now choose a color for each of these keywords to be by clicking on the color next to the title button at the top of their screens. After the learners have chosen their colors for each keyword, they will be able to add icons for every keyword to remember these keywords better. This button is once again displayed at the top of their screens next to the color button. After that, the learners should press the check mark button next to the icon button to save each keyword and return it to their mind map. Step 16. After the learners have finished their keywords, they should click on the upwards arrow button in the bottom left corner of their screen. Step 17. In the menu that pops up, there is a button titled Mind Map. The learners should press this button to read their mind maps. After all the mind map bubbles have been made by the learners, the teacher will display the correct answers on the LCD project.